Hi there, it's Johnny Miller from pointblankonline.net. Back once more to show you some cool stuff with Ableton Live 8 and sounds and samples from clickproduce.com. Uh, this week, uh, something that's very close to my heart, I'm uh, going to look at some sounds and samples and loops from uh, Loopmaster's Broken Beat Electronica, put together by a guy called IG Culture, uh, a legend in the West London Broken Beat scene, someone who has influenced me an awful lot, uh, especially throughout the noughties, um, uh, in my productions, and because uh, I've had a couple of records out in the Broken Beat scene, and uh, yeah, this guy is a genius. And um, what he's done, he's put together a nice little selection of, of loops, presets, and uh, single sounds. We've got Rex files and WAV loops of uh, bass, drums, and music, and then uh, some sample patches for some different software packages uh, featuring sounds and effects that we've got here broken down into bass, drums, effects, instruments, and synths. This is really useful stuff, and I know I'm going to be using some of these sounds on my tracks for sure. Uh, over the next few weeks, I'm very, very excited to get this sound pack, to be honest. All right, I've put together a little sketch here. Uh, at the moment, I've just got a beat, a little bass, and uh, a little melody part. And here's the drums, classic IG culture swing to these beats. And the whole thing about Broken Beat was that it felt like it was a little bit off-center, a little bit wonky, but still had a real nice groove. Okay, I've added a little bass loop on here. And if I come out of clip envelopes, let me show you this. This is actually a much longer loop. And, uh, you know, as you'll probably know from watching these tutorials, one thing I always try and do is kind of change up the loop a little bit and just kind of make it my own somehow. And I've done this in two ways. One, I've shortened the loop and used transposition to just bring it down a couple of semitones. I've also gone into clip envelopes and just use clip envelopes to just erase one of the notes, or not essentially erase, but to turn down that last little note, just with a volume event. So now it just works around those three notes, two bar loop. I've done something similar actually with this little melody part, which again was a much longer loop, but I've stripped it down to just one bar. And in clip envelopes, I've just used volume again, to just take out a couple of notes here. That one's gone, uh, this one here, and this one here I've etched out with a volume change. And also just bring it, brought that down a couple of semitones as well, just to detune it slightly. Okay, I'm gonna show you a really cool trick, which will bring a kind of stereo chorus effect in on this synth. And at the moment, it sounds quite nice, but it's mono essentially, it's just got that sort of center, centered feel within the stereo field. And I'm gonna use a trick uh, by duplicating this track and creating a staggered delay between them. Uh, that's known as the has effect. It's a very, very small delay that gives the impression of stereo width. Now to do this, we're gonna utilize uh, track delay, which down here just on the right hand side in Ableton, you've got the show hide buttons, the little D if I click on that, that's track delay. And this is used to, like I say, to stagger um, one track off against the other in terms of uh, millisecond time, a delay time, literally a track delay. And it's used, uh, producers use it to compensate for latency, which is a uh, an effect you have when you play the keyboard and it takes a split second for the sound to register in the software. And it can be a bit of a nightmare sometimes because things can seem a little bit out of time. With track delay, you can compensate for that. I'm gonna use it creatively though to create a staggered delay between two of the same thing. So I'm gonna take this audio track number two. This is where my little synth riff is. I'm just gonna hit Command D to duplicate that track. Now I've got two of the same thing. And if I put both of these solos on and play them both together, they're of course exactly the same. I'm gonna pan one to the left and one to the right and use track delay to open up a slight, maybe 10 or 12 milliseconds in time between those two. And especially if you're hearing this on a stereo system or listening to this with headphones, you'll hear now that audio track on audio track number two and audio track number three have got that lovely stereo chorus effect on them now. If I just keep increasing that track delay, just get a wider stereo effect. And this is known as the has effect. A very small delay between two identical signals, one panned left, one panned right, and we get this nice kind of stereo field effect. Now the other nice thing we can do here, because 
I've put, I've created a, a duplicate. I've got two of the same thing. I'm just going to change up the second one. I'm going to bring this down an octave. So I'm going to take the transposition down to minus 14. So now on the on the right, I've got a lower one, and on the left, I've got a higher one. Plus, put them together with a little track delay, and you get that lovely kind of stereo effect. Let's put the beat and the bass back in. And that just brings a nice little quirky effect in on that synth. Now if I group them together, just right click, um, just hold down shift, highlight both those tracks, right click and group, group tracks. Now I've got them on one Ableton track, both those two together on one Ableton track. And I can start affecting them. And I'm just gonna go for something quite simple. Just gonna go for a delay. So I've now created a nice delay effect between those two. And because they're different pitches and slightly delayed from one another left, right, it just gives a whole new feel to the sound. Let's add a filter in here too. Another little favorite trick of mine. Just get different colors. The real trick here is that staggered delay, the track delay between those two copies of essentially the same thing. I kind of added to it by transposing one down an octave, but I could have kept them the same and just have that nice has effect, um, the nice little delay between those two. Okay, you can learn more cool stuff like this at pointblankonline.net, and I'll be back next week uh, to show you some more cool little tricks with Ableton Live 8 and sounds and samples from clickproduce.com. Okay, peace.